Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com and we have a new build of Windows 10 Mobile to try. This is build 10549 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. Now the first thing to say about this build is that Microsoft pretty late in the rollout process discovered that there's a bug upgrading from Windows 10 Mobile previous build to this build so they pre prevented this uh, 10549 build being released to anyone with Windows 10 Mobile. So to install this you need to be on Windows Phone 8.1 and if you're already uh, rolled out a new version, if you're already on Windows 10 Mobile you, and you want to go back you're going to have to use the Windows Device Recovery tool, tool which used to be called Windows Phone Recovery Tool. It's a fairly quick process, you install the tool and I'll include a link with the video that goes with this on the digitallifestyle.com you download the tool, it detects your phone, it knows that you've got Windows 10 Mobile on this say on this Lumia 630 and it knows the latest production version is Windows Phone 8.1 and it downloads that. So I did that and that took well, about an hour I suppose to do the whole process and reset back to Windows Phone 8.1. Once you've done that you've got to install the Windows Insider program and select the fast ring, the reboot and then away you go and it starts to download. See it did take quite a while to download on this as well I think uh, not so much the download but the actual install time seems to take ages, well over an hour maybe an hour and a half and then once it done that and did the restart, it was nearly an hour and a half again before it was usable. So if you are doing an upgrade, make sure you give yourself plenty of time to try it. Right, there's not a huge amount of changes in this build. Uh, Cortana has been improved um, by adding extra language support. So um, so there's no changes to, the, to what we're looking at here on, on this one, on mine, this is in English but you can now use it in Japan and you can use it in Australia and Canada uh, so that's good that you can uh, you can use Cortana in those regions it's good to see them rolling that out, it's a bit always frustrating when they've got the, something good like Cortana and then they don't roll it out to all the regions another change is to the messaging app so another change is to the messaging app if I start entering text in there Let's put some text in there. Um, what Microsoft said is that um, uh, when you're entering the text, it was really hard to see in the previous version if you had two or three lines. So let's add some some lines um, because the keyboard got in the way. But this uh, yeah, this looks okay. Like that. A minor tweak, but uh, frustrating if you're doing it and uh, you can't uh, you try you can't see what you're typing, and you can scroll up and down like that. And also, they say the upcoming mobile build will include the integrated Skype capabilities to preview. I had those on the previous build, so they were available in the store for a while. So um, we'll see whether they're back in. I'm going to try that later. You can see that on a previous on the previous video, I think. So, other changes to this are what they call diverse emojis. So, uh, you can pick a like an emoji like that, but you can also change the skin tone. Uh, so that's quite good. You can choose one that is reflective to whatever you want to include in the message. You can make a very sick looking grey person or <laughs> you can choose one of the other ones there. So it's good to see that they're available and they're available on the PC build as well. Um, what else can I tell you about this build? If you've got a Lumia 1020 you probably should avoid it if you like the camera features because the Lumia camera app doesn't work in this build and you need the Lumia camera app to get the extra features that the Lumia camera, that the 1020 has. So if you rely on that Lumia camera app don't go on to Windows 10 Mobile. The app is coming back at some point uh, so maybe later in the year so you may want to wait till it goes on there. They've said that the camera app no longer crashes when certain applications launch uh, to capture a picture. They fixed an issue where the keyboard would get dismissed. They fixed swipe notifications. They say fixed an issue with screenshots not being saved on certain apps. And you can you can fix an issue with SD card launching. Let's turn this back on. And they've uh, fixed an issue with custom ringtones. And they've added vibrate only alarms which I thought was a, always very handy to have a silent alarm and uh, they got rid of that. So what's happened um, 
what are the other issues with this build? Well, if you're missing a few apps after the install process, the effect of the upgrade has gone wrong and you can use a reset. You can go into the, into the settings, do reset your phone. That doesn't put it back on Windows Phone 8 1, it just does a sort of fresh install of Windows 10 mobile, so that will fix it. I've had that on previous builds and it's good to be able to have that fixed. Um, they said that notifications might not come through after, um, after initially uh, installing the update. You can, um, if you reset the phone, then uh, that will sort of just you know, on off or uh, unlock the phone for the first time and then do some stuff and restart, then it will be fine. And also, you're un unable to install Skype for Business, WhatsApp, and other apps. The workaround is to uninstall and reinstall these apps from the store. So this is a very quick look at this build of Windows 10 Mobile 10549. Not a huge amount of changes and a few hoops to jump through. So if you've got a nicely set up Windows 10 Mobile running the previous build, you may want to skip this and go wait for the next one that doesn't have that bug in it. But if you want to test the upgrade process, it's quite handy really. So more videos on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.